Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I'll be doing an unboxing from Japan. Since I'm on vacation on Japan, so I just bought some stuff that I saw here on Akihabara and also a bunch of other PC stores like, like uh, Big Camera, Yodobashi, and also Sukumo. And this is one of the things I bought. I bought this at Yodobashi, and this is basically a server van from Sanes or Sanyo Denki. And if you don't know them, uh, it's because they're not very well known in the consumer space. They just make server fans. That's what they're known for. Uh, this is one of their server models and it's imported by Altec here in Japan, which is a large importer of power supplies and also fans and cooling accessories in Japan. So this is one of the things that I saw and I thought it's kind of interesting just to see a server fan being sold as a retail uh, consumer grade fan. So, you know, let's take a look. This is a this is a Japanese engineered fan, but this is obviously not made in Japan. As you can see that this fan is made in the Philippines. So, yeah, you know, uh, it's kind of weird. I'm going here all the way to Japan and getting a fan made in the Philippines. But I don't see any fans made in Japan, so oh well. Uh, anyways, here's the fan. The plastic packaging is pretty simple. It's just in a blister wrap. And it just shows the fan itself and also I'm guessing just says 3 million hours MTBF rating. So that's pretty high since this fan uses a double ball bearing uh, bearing design. And here's the specifications on the bottom. It says professional fan or something along those lines I'm guessing. And here's the specifications 2500 RPM, 33 decibels S7 level which is their fastest model that I could find. So, you know, that's on purpose since I want a really fast fan. I don't see why you would want a slower fan since, you know, extra RPM could be useful. And if you don't want it to be noisy, you could just lower the voltage and run it even slower. So, yeah, here's the specifications. You can pause it if you want. And it's apparently silent. Although, you know, we'll see. We'll see once we test it. And, you know, I really doubt it's silent at 2500 RPM. It's usually pretty loud um, for fans going that fast. So, yeah. Here's the static pressure and airflow uh, volume uh, chart. Uh, the PQ curve, which is kind of weird since you don't really see that in normal consumer fans, but since these are used in mission critical components, these fans actually do have that data and you know they're actually accurate since if they're not accurate, well then no one is gonna buy it since they're needed for servers and they have specific CFM and pressure requirements for the heat sinks and everything to keep everything cool so this is one of the few fans that have actual you know reliable uh, real uh, trustable specification ratings but yeah let's take a look inside it's kind of a pain to get these blister wraps open although these are just like uh, popped there instead of needing to be cut open so yeah here's the fan uh, you can see the fan is pretty simple it's nothing much to it. Uh, it's just a black fan with a with these. Uh, okay, this this part is kind of interesting. It's only available on server fans, but they have these uh, little notches on the fan uh, fan hub, and these are used to get filled with this kind of like a glue. And this thing is just basically used to balance the fan blade because you know they spin pretty fast, and you don't want vibrations on a server. Uh, unnecessary vibrations are not good for the components. Uh, for like for example the hard drive so they want this as uh, stable as possible and that's how you do it they actually fill in those uh, gaps in the hub fan hub to stabilize the rotor uh, to make it you know heavier on one side where it is needed and you can see it has seven blades and these are curved uh, and the blades itself are not actually very steep although they're not very uh, shallow like uh, uh, pressure fans so this is kind of a good mix of both pressure and airflow uh, fan blade design. So we shall see how good it does when I actually do a review since I'll do a huge fan roundup review with all the fans that I bought here in Japan. Since some of those fans are pretty interesting like the Silverstone Air Penetrator and also the NBE Loop among other things. And yeah, you know, about this fan it also has this, you know, colorful uh, power cable. It's just a 3 pin connector so no PWM. It's just voltage control and also a fan tachometer control uh, signal uh, for the motherboard. And this is the back of the fan itself. You can read it if you want to. 
Uh, there's not much to it. It has it just has small rips on the side, and I think it's just supposed to straighten out the airflow better. Uh, I mean, San Ace also San Ace also makes a model that doesn't have those, but this one specifically has those. So yeah, I mean the accessories are not anything special either. So these are just uh, a Mol Molex to three pin three pin fan control, uh, fan uh, fan pass through. I mean, and it's just an adapter and also a bag of uh, fan screws for mounting it nothing special because this is really just a servo fan and if you can see the price is quite expensive this is basically you know uh, 300,000 uh, rupiah or about uh, I'm guessing 25 US dollars or about there or maybe even less a little bit but it's kind of an expensive fan I mean it's a servo fan so it has to be quality and you cer you certainly can feel it has quality in it since the fan uh, frame itself doesn't flex and I think it has some kind of special plastic material since it has that kind of weird uh, look on it it's kind of shiny instead of a typical plastic look uh, on most fans so you know it's quite sturdy even the fan blades don't flex at all and yeah you know I think the last thing we should do is just test the fans and give you guys a show of how strong it is and also I guess um, how noisy it is so here it is I'm just using a power bank on a USB to fan uh, adapter that I bought and this is just gonna plug into the fan and this should hopefully you work there we go let's start from zero and go all the way to maximum speed so here's zero, and just slow, lowest speed possible, and we'll just slowly go up. And this is maximum speed. So the fan does feel pretty strong, you know, the airflow is quite strong, you can see that it would blow the plastic away if you pointed at it. And you know, this fan is a server fan after all, it's 2500 RPM and it has quite a huge airflow. And I'm saying that this fan is not too loud, but you certainly can hear it. And the noise is quite pleasant in my opinion. It's not very annoying. So if you're using this in your PC, it should be quite okay. You can add full fan speed, although you might want to lower uh, the fan speed if you want while, you're, while it's not needed. But yeah, you know, here's the fan. You can hear it, hear it for a little bit more. And so I guess what I can do is just show you guys the spin down of this fan to show you how smooth the uh, bearing is. So here it goes. Oops. Uh. Yep, so there we go. You can see that the fan spins down quite for a long time. So you can see the bearing is pretty smooth compared to other fans. And you'd expect that from a double ball bearing fan, which you can see the bearing straight to from the middle. But yeah, uh, so. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this unboxing and please leave a like if you do and please click subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.